Today, we honor the solemnity of St. Augustine, a towering figure in the Western Church. Known as a founder of monasticism, a bishop, theologian, preacher, writer, and doctor of the church. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Augustine preferred to describe himself simply as a servant of God. This humility reminds us that our achievements and talents are of little value unless they lead us to know, love, and serve God more deeply. Augustine was born on November 13, 354, in Tagast, Sukaharos, Algeria, to Patricius, a pagan, and Monica, a fervent Catholic. Blessed with abundant human and intellectual gifts, an inquisitive mind, and a passionate spirit, Augustine's journey was marked by pain and profound discoveries about himself, life, and God. Augustine pursued advanced studies beyond his hometown thanks to a generous family friend, becoming an accomplished rhetorician and teacher in Africa, Rome, and Milan. Although his mother had enrolled him in the catechumenate of the Catholic Church as a child, Augustine sought spiritual fulfillment elsewhere during his adolescence and young adulthood. He explored the Manichaean sect and astrology before embracing skepticism. Reflecting on his life, Augustine recognized various moments of spiritual growth and conversion, culminating in a decisive embrace of Christ in the Catholic Church. He had already separated from the woman with whom he had lived for many years and who bore him a son. Preparing for marriage with another, Augustine felt his conversion required a commitment to chastity as a celibate servant of God. Following his baptism in Milan in 387, Augustine returned to Tagast with his son and friends to begin a monastic life. Despite his reluctance, he was ordained a priest in Hippo in 391 and became bishop of that see in 397, all while maintaining his monastic lifestyle. Augustine's prolific writings, powerful preaching, and deep contemplative life left an indelible mark on the church. He died on August 28, 430, at nearly 76 years old, as North Africa faced invasion by the Vandals. His remains were eventually taken to Sardinia and later to Pavia, Italy, where they are now preserved in the Basilica of San Pietro in Cielodoro. Monica's role in Augustine's conversion. A pivotal figure in Augustine's conversion was his mother, Monica. Her unwavering faith and persistent prayers for 17 years played a crucial role in his spiritual journey. Monica's dedication is a testament to the power of a mother's love and faith. Monica followed Augustine to Rome and then to Milan, despite the difficulties of travel. In Milan, Augustine came under the influence of Bishop St. Ambrose, who also became Monica's spiritual director. Her greatest joy came when she witnessed Augustine's baptism by Bishop Ambrose in 387, after his long and restless journey to the faith of the church. As we reflect on Augustine's life, let us remember his words and actions that exemplify servanthood. The Bible reminds us, but the greatest among you shall be your servant, Matthew 23, 11. Augustine's journey also illustrates the importance of spiritual growth, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. 2 Peter 3, 18. St. Augustine's Quotes Faith is to believe what you do not see. The reward of this faith is to see what you believe. Seek not to understand that you may believe, but believe that you may understand. It was pride that changed angels into devils. It is humility that makes men as angels. You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our heart is restless until it rests in you. St. Augustine's story is a powerful testament to the transformative power of faith, humility, and dedication to God's service. May St. Augustine's prayer and example inspire us to serve God with humility and seek continuous spiritual growth. And may God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.